Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I have a highly requested video um, for you all and it's been a while. Um, what? <laughs> I don't, know why, I don't know why I said that. What was I saying? Oh, so I haven't done it. It's taken me a while to get everything together to do this video because Fenty is a brand that I have tried bits from and I know I really like and so far. And when I do these videos a full face off and trying these products, a lot of the time I don't like a lot of the products that I use and I give them away to someone or I save them for a video, you know, five products I hate, whatever, or a second chance is video. Whereas with Fenty, I kind of wanted to <laughs> keep everything. So by that, I mean, I made sure that the foundation shades I got were correct and not just some random ones. Well, we'll see. And then the concealer shades were correct, everything like that. So I can use them in my videos at least, or in real life if I want to. Um, and not just put them to one side and forget about them for a year, you know? So I have a few things here that I have tried and I know I like already, and a few things that I haven't, and I'm trying for the first time today. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with a face first. Um, I don't usually, I usually do my eyes first, but what I want to do is start with my face, do everything on my face, <laughs> the face, and then move on to eyes. But in between doing my face and the eyes, I'm gonna film another video, a reaction video, and just see how it sits on the skin, the foundation. It's not the longest foundation wear test, but I'm extremely oily. Five minutes, 10 minutes on me wearing a foundation, usually it's completely ruined. So I'm going to see how it sits on my skin for about, it usually takes me an hour, an hour and a half to record one video. So we'll see how, how that goes. Okay, let's start off with eyebrows first. Oh, oh, hi, my name is Robert. For those of you who don't know, if it's your first time here, I'm a professional makeup artist here on YouTube and also in real life, and it's my goal to help you you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup so if that sounds like something you are interested in then please do consider subscribing follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok and yeah let's do it listen guys if i seem a little bit um underwhelmed today i suffer severely from ibs so if anyone out there and i'm having a really t a tough day of it today so if anyone out there has some kind of miracle cure for me that isn't the fodmap diet and that isn't essential oils then do please <laughs> let me know how i can how i can sort this out because it is ruining my life <laughs> so okay well it's not that dry well it is it's pretty bad but i know you know so let's do it. Let's start with eyebrows first. And this is the Brow MVP. And this is a product that I have used already and I know I really like. So let me just tell you the reasons why I really like it. First reason being is the brush at the end here. You can see it's almost like, you know, those spoon brushes that I actually really hate. So it's very different to what you'll usually find on a normal brow pencil. But what I really like about this kind of brush is how it's almost like, it reminds me of like how you brush a horse <laughs> with that really like dense brush. Did I make that up? Are there any horse owners? Is it a dense brush? You know what I mean? Like look at the way it just combs through all the hairs. It includes every hair. And that's what I like about it. It just keeps it nice and tidy. I do sometimes find with brushes like this, for example, this is great for things like mascara and combing through the brows just quickly. Or for me for applying like a brow wax or a brow soap or whatever. But brow but brushes like that can sometimes leave some hairs behind and you don't really get that nice brushed up look i also just while i do this i also just want to touch on how incredible the shade range was for brow pencils there were so many different shades and colors and i say this sometimes a lot about brow pencils is that because my eyebrows are black of course i do want a black eyebrow pencil but i don't want a pitch pitch black brow pencil because my eyebrows aren't just pitch black, you know? And I feel like Fenty with the brow pencils are kind of one of the only brands that have really thought about the different tones of black hair. It's not just black, brown, black, grey. There's different tones in there as well. So the choice was incredible. So I was very impressed by that. The pencil itself I really like to use because I don't know if you can see, it has that tiny, tiny tip on the end. It's very small. So you can get in like one brush stroke at a time and still keep that kind of definition to the brow. I do find with thicker pencils um, that you sometimes get that bulkiness of the brow. Whereas I like to see, sometimes I like to see a patch with my skin underneath, you know? Well, I have no choice here, but I have a little, um, it used to be a trolley, but now I have like this um, product thing here where I grab all my products I use daily and that kind of stays in there now. Daily, I mean like on camera, I just realized I haven't finished this brow at all. 
So let's move on to concealer. I did do a separate video about the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. Illumin oh, that's, again, I can always go on to read the French. Um, this is basic, it's basically a lightweight concealer. I did do a whole video on it, but let me just break it down very quickly for you. I do like it, but I do find you have to really hydrate the eye area for something that's meant to be, you know, quite natural and almost um, undetectable on the skin. I did find it not very hydrating, but then saying that, everyone else, after speaking to people on Twitter and Instagram, everyone, everyone had different opinions and different experiences with it, to a point where everyone actually had the complete opposite experiences from each other, you know? On the website also, it does say it's buildable, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to build it up so I get a bit more coverage. I'm just, this is really, this is making a really annoying sound. I'm just going to take this off. I'm just applying it kind of where I want and just building it up. But it almost like, it doesn't move very well. It doesn't blend very well unless you've really hydrated that eye area. So just do be careful when you're using this. It, you get the impression that it's going to be really um, hydrating and easy to blend and easy to move. Whereas I don't know if you can see it, you can really, really see like where I've applied it, where it's not really moving very well. And a lot of people would be like, yeah, but you're not meant to use that much. The website says it's buildable, buildable coverage, which means you should be able to build it to at least a medium coverage. But, I mean, that's enough like brightening for me. I, I would usually bring my eyeshadow right down to here anyway, so I don't really need that much brightening on the eyes. I'm also gonna put an eye primer on, which I didn't get a Fenty one. So, okay, let's take a look at the foundation. Let me just carry on. See, it does a job, right? It, it is good, it's good at brightening. And you can kind of see where it stops my face because I have this redness here. So if that was to be covered, and on my nose also, so if that was covered, it'll be less detectable. So I went for the Pro Filter, ugh. I went for the Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. I think I'm gonna have to mix the two. So, oh, I forgot to mention, there are two things I didn't buy. And that's a mascara and a primer because I have so many mascaras and I have so many primers, I can't stand the thought of wasting another one. Go. I'm gonna use a beauty sponge this side. These are the Luna Beauty ones. Well, this is the Luna Beauty one. I personally quite like matte foundations because I rather add my own shine. As an oily person, I'd rather like add shine with a highlighter rather than, you know, letting my skin do what it needs to do. That's nice. That's really nice, actually. This is blending really, really nicely into the skin. Oh, wow. I usually have a lot of trouble around my nose, and I do sometimes find it's hard for foundations to sit on the skin on my nose. Not the foundation's fault, it's just my skin texture. But this is sitting so nicely. Smells kind of good as well. Like, it has a is that that or is that my hand sanitizer? I don't know anymore. Something smells nice. I mean, to get the perfect shade, I maybe would have blended in a little bit of a lighter one, but it's fine. It's not like I'm going out anywhere wearing this, so <laughs> we'll just see how well it sits on the skin. It's going on really, really nicely. It, it feels very comfortable on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. Oh, what, is, what shade is it? Sorry, this is shade 220. And it's just very slightly yellow. I need something maybe a bit more neutral, I think would be perfect. But the finish off this foundation is is really, really nice. I'm very happy with that. I like that a lot, actually. It, it's really nice. Um, I, I look very yellow in general. And then when I apply foundation, yellow is too yellow, red is too red. So I'm definitely more of that neutral tone. Um, but, you know... Neutral people know how it is. You, you get something that's like a slightest hint yellow and it looks like you've painted your face yellow. It's very difficult to find a perfect match without physically trying on the product first. But this will look fine once I get everything on and it kind of matches my yellow neck. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a break here from trying out these products. I'm gonna film another video. And then when I come back, we'll do eyes and then we'll move on to highlight, contour, bronzer, lips, blush, everything else. So I will, I mean, I'm gonna see you in literally one second, so yes. <laughs> okay, so I am back. Everything's looking good, it's fine. I've been about 45 minutes. Uh, and you see I'm getting a little bit shiny around my nose. And this is when usually my oil starts to break down my foundation and I can see little bits. I have quite large pores around my nose, so usually I can see like little bits in my pores, but we're looking good. 
I'm slightly dehydrated here, so I don't mind that texture. That's my issue. Yeah, fine. The color has deepened slightly. I don't know if that's showing on camera, but the color has deepened very, very slightly on my skin. Nothing I personally would be concerned about. Yeah, so far, so good. Okay, let's go on to eyes. I have two of the snap, are they called snap shadows? Yeah. Snap Shadows palettes. I have two and nine. Nine is your more neutrals so with that kind of plum tone in there. And two is more of your kind of like purplies. This is quite a grungy looky palette. I did use the original palette and I really didn't like it. There was just something about the texture I really didn't like. So I'm hoping this is slightly different. Um, or maybe I just had a bad experience the first time with, with those shadows. We will see. Um, but yeah, just letting you know, being upfront, I didn't like that palette. I just, I felt was just something about it. Okay, so let's try. Let's do something nice and deep and smoky. Let's take the shade Sherry Fairy, which is this one right here. And let's just start putting that through the socket. Come on. Let's do a bit of a halo eye today. Pigmentation is very strong. They blend really nicely. It's quite a controlled blend. Um, Pigmentation sits heavier, obviously, where you apply it, and then it fades out nicely, but it doesn't um, completely get rid of the, the colour, which is nice. I wish I could remember what my issues were with the first palette, so I can kind of do a comparison. I feel like it may have been a pigmentation issue, as in not enough, and it didn't blend well. Hmm, it's nice. It, it blends really nice. I don't know how I'm going to say that a lot. It blends nicely. Okay, so let's go into this deeper purple from the number nine palette. This is called Pinot, please. Or Pinot, please. <laughs> no, don't. Don't do that. This is gonna sound really strange, you know, this being matte, it is extremely matte though. Like trying to blend it is slightly challenging. It looks good, it looks nice, I like it. I need like a round, I haven't cleaned any of my brushes. Yeah, I actually, I really, really like it. Okay, let's go into the number two palette and let's go for the shade um, Hey Auntie, which is this shade here. Uh, do I? Yeah, fuck it, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna use my finger. Let's try finger. Let's just tap that on the edges of that dark purple like that. And then we'll take upper class, which is this one. And then let's just tap that right in the center here. Yeah, cute. Okay, let's go under the eyes of that dark purple again. That is a really nice matte plum. I was going to darken those corners with this plum again. Okay, so let's move on to um, the face, the cheeks. I'm gonna go in with the Amber Free Cell Cream Bronzer. Now I've used this a lot. You can see it's like a little bit dirtier. Um, well, it's not dirty, it's just used. None of my stuff is dirty. Because this is just, for me, the most perfect contour shade because it has this gray tone to it. And I love my contours to be grayer because I want them to look like shadow on my skin. I don't want them to look like a uh, bronzer. I know we can warm this up a little bit as well if we need to, but I just love, love, love that this is a shade option for those of us who like to have a completely like cold um, contour. <laughs> Do I like to look a little bit dead? Yes, and that's fine. I did a video um, recently, I was gonna blend that in, and it was about uh, products that a lot of you didn't like, and I asked over on Instagram, I was like, let me know what are some products that you tried that you really don't like, not just uh, Fenty, like every, every product, and everyone said about the Fenty cream products, the cream blush, the cream um, contour, and I really like them, so I was very confused, I was like, I don't know where this is coming from. <laughs> Because I thought if they were universally known as nice product, I was a little bit taken aback by that. I was, I was kind of like, I don't understand why everyone's had a bad experience. 
Anyway, so this is the uh, Sun Stalker Private Island Instant Warmth Bronzer. I've never used Fenty Bronzer before, but I've chosen this shade and I'm gonna use the smallest amount and just go half and half over my skin and that contour shade. So we still have that shadow underneath, but we're lessening that gray because you know, there's gray and then there's actually just the color gray. <laughs> nice, it's really nice. I do sometimes find with, bronzers it's kind of difficult to you know you can put your brush in a little bit and then tap it off and then suddenly it's like orange and especially on my skin tone again where it's quite neutral but also leans towards a little bit more yellow a bronzer can look orange on my skin so it's nice to have something that's um not orange and something that's a little bit more in between let's take a look at the cream blushes i probably should have done this before a bronzer i love a cream blush these other cheeks out freestyle cream blushes my favorite shade is fuego blush which is this one and um, just because i like a good orangey tone however i'm thinking of using cool berry today which is like this uh because of the eyes and everything else let me try it let's give it a go but one thing I like about this is, look at that, it's not full on colour, it's not like intense, intense colour, and I feel like a lot of people did cream blush recently and a lot of people did it wrong. So it's nice to have this kind of like tint of colour here. It's gonna kind of wrap that around this area here. Really, I shouldn't, shouldn't do that because my face is long, so ideally I wanna bring it across here, but I don't mind having that little bit more sculpted look today. I did try, what did I try recently? So I tried the Melt Cream blushes recently. I bought the whole set. Um, I'm still deciding if I like them or not. It's, it's a little bit, they feel a little bit too slippy for me. The Rare Beauty ones are perfect. These ones are really, really nice too. Um, who else has good shit? Um, NARS, their little pots are really nice for cream blush, cute. Okay, so let's take a look at Highlight. Again, a product I've never used before. And this is the Killer Watt Freestyle Highlighter. And I have Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, which are these two. I have swatched them with my finger. Um, and I was a little bit concerned, I believe. And it looked fine. However, I do some see some like glitter on this like shinier half here. What's this one next to it? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. So I just like completely fingered them. I'm gonna use this one as like an overall highlight. And then where I want concentrated bits of light, I'm gonna tap this shade on top of that. It's like a 3D highlight almost. So take this shade first. That's nice. Yeah, I like that. I like a highlighter that doesn't look like, you know, I hope this makes sense, but you know you can get highlighters that either look too glittery or it just looks like particles <laughs> on your skin. This one's, this one's not like that. It looks very smooth. Then for that really like intense highlight, I'm gonna take just an eyeshadow blending brush and go into this side and then choose the highest points off that highlight and just tap the color on there. And I'm gonna go over it and buff it so it catches that bit before it catches the rest you see yeah i like it i do like that a lot actually that's really nice so i do have the um pro filter soft matte foundation powder but i'm not going to use that one because i'm not i don't know about the um shade and the the match so i'm going to go in with the mini instant retouch setting powder in the shade butter okay i don't use that much powder so i'm just going to tap it under the eye here and I don't mind putting it over my highlight and blush and stuff. I feel like it fades everything in together nicely. Um, oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Oh, shit. Oh, I like that. It kind of um, blurs very slightly. Mm, the texture isn't looking that great at the moment, but, but maybe if I had set the foundation before. Look, I always get like these bits show through my foundation no matter how much I put on. Okay, let's move on to the lips. And this is the, I mm, can't read it. Make Out Break. Slip shine, so blind. Sheer shiny lipstick. So let's try that one. The shade's very neutral to my skin tone, which I like. Definitely, tastes good. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that slight shine on on the lip. That's cute. I have a darker one here. I'm just gonna tap it right in the middle here. Let's give it a bit more 3D. Yeah, I like that. Okay, give me one second. I'm gonna put on um, lashes and um, yeah, and I'll be back and we will summarize and we will talk about everything. 
Okay, so this is a full face of Fenty minus lashes. I really liked it. I don't have any concerns as of yet. I love this lip color and the lip texture. I love a highlighter. I love the foundation. Oh, it is sitting fine again. It, it seems to be absolutely fine. But I put the powder on and I was a little bit like, okay, maybe I don't need this powder. So I refreshed again with, with a hydrating mist, not a setting spray. And it does look so much better. I've laminated my own brows, so that's why they're sticking up quite well. But the color and the pencil itself um, have worked incredibly well. I really liked the eyeshadows this time around. I don't know whether they've changed the formula or maybe I just um, I was having an off day when I used the first palette. But yeah, I really, I really, really like it. I would recommend it. I don't really, I don't really know what else to say. I would like to find the perfect foundation shade for me, and and see how that looks because it looks fine now. But I've added highlight and contour and bronzer, so it's all kind of like tying in together. But I would like to to get a perfect shade. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. If you have any of your favorite products from Fen from Fenty that you think I should try, let me know below. Is there a brand you think I should try a full face off? Again, let me know below. Thank you so much for joining me. Subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up if you want to, and I will see you very soon. Bye.